went to Africa and uh, I went to Zimbabwe. This was like several years ago, but nice. um, did this kind of expedition, if you will. And for work or a person, uh, like just vacation? No, it, w it was not for work. It was, it was like a survival trip, really. Um, okay, what do you mean? this is getting interesting. Well, my Africa so, so story. Yeah, uh, 100%. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I, I can't Please. wait to go. Okay, Please it's share. it was because of my job. Okay, this this is actually one of the great parts of my job is that I come in contact with so many interesting people. And um, I get hired to do this calendar shoot like 10 years ago. And um, the client, it was for a software company, which was kind of weird already. It's like a software company. They're having me uh, do a bikini calendar photo shoot and it and it was going to be um dinosaur themed because the like so all the swimsuits had animal print on them and we shot it at wakiva springs uh, up near orlando so it was like yep. outdoors animal print and then the client brought like blow up dinosaurs i mean it was really very cheesy and um shouldn't have existed as like a thing but uh the company was called so Okay, but still, I'm like, why are we doing a calendar Sitting shoot? Sitting around for a, a boardroom table, and, and, and I had thing. done uh, calendars for like a swimsuit pageant, um, the Atlanta Falcons. I shot their like cheerleader calendar for four years. Nice. Um, now I'm shooting this calendar for a software company. It didn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know. Anyways, they can't be bros. I mean, I wasn't companies. mad about it. I'm like, I don't care what it's for. Like, uh, like, sure, like I'll you know another cool job and get paid well and. Yeah. Um, Anyways, the uh, client shows up and it's this older gentleman and he's all, he's, he's like Jack, this dude, right? And I say older, like at this time, so this was, he was probably around 50, but in like killer shape. And um, like, he was like your stature, right? But maybe even like a little bigger and a little more like shredded, right? Okay. Okay. So like, just to give you an idea and you're in great shape. So this guy's like, and I'm like i'm kind of already judging him and i'm thinking like this is just some meatball idiot dude <laughs> turns out to be like the nicest guy funny <laughs> fucking smart and he's from um zimbabwe and he's got a south african accent he's a white guy he looks oh, sure. he looks like rambo's body with like anderson cooper's head okay if that good looking guy yeah, yeah. i could send you pictures to go with some of these stories so that if you want to like Pop them on screen because I have the perfect. Yes, please. Yes, okay. Please. <laughs> All right. You might have to remind me later. Like, paint, hey, paint I need the, the photo <laughs> of uh, this guy or this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I have to show you now. This is this is. <laughs> am I lying about my description? Oh no! <laughs> fucking, he's jacked. Yeah. 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 He's a fucking assassin. Like. Wow. Okay. Like, Looks mean. Too. Yeah. Like this is also him. <laughs> All right. Oh. The the owner or like one of the owners, I guess, of the software company. It's an interesting yeah, line kind of, of work. Okay. Kind of bizarre, right? Okay. What so, kind of software do you do? So, I don't even remember. <laughs> so it's military software. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. Like, so uh, had a f it was a great shoot. It was a really fun shoot. And um, at the end, he's like, he's like, hey, you guys, if you want to come to dinner, I'll take you out to dinner afterwards. You know, it's on me. And of course, all the models are like, no, I'm going to go home, whatever. Me and my assistant were like, yes, like, let's do it. Like, that, this guy's cool. Like, let's go have dinner. And um, we, by the way, this is a good lesson for, like, it never hurts to just spend a little time connecting with somebody. You just have no idea, like, what it can lead to, right? If, if I didn't go to dinner, I would have missed out on the greatest trip years later that I'm talking about years later from that, right? Um, just because we're like, yeah, fuck it. What do we got to lose? You know, like now maybe one of the other um, models or people from the shoot like actually had some prior plans, but it was kind of a random day, whatever. And sure, I'm sure they're tired, but I just don't. Take the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? I'm going to go home and heat up some crappy food and. Wait, and wait, not so, talk to somebody so new. You brought the models for the shoot. Like well, were, they, they, we all met how there. How does that work? They all met there. Like I hired them, okay. so I knew them all. They were all, it, it, and they weren't even just like strangers. I get that. That could be intimidating if it's like 
no, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going off with you guys that I don't know, but like, you know, I was actually friends with all the models, but anyways, whatever it's, uh, you know, no judgment on them, but, but I was happy that the, uh, my buddy who assisted me on that gig, we went and had dinner and he's just telling these like epic stories about living and growing up in Zimbabwe. And he was in the Rhodesian army and, um, I mean, he's been a part of some crazy things like trying, like them trying to assassinate the dictator, um, Mugabe, who was a dictator for 40 years up until a few years ago. Um, and, uh, anyways, uh, like really <laughs> interesting dude. Um, so if I send you a picture, you have to blur his face out. Uh, <laughs> okay. so yeah, I'm not going to say his name <laughs> either. Did I already out. say his name? Uh, anyways, I don't think so. <laughs> we'll, we'll blur it out. If Maybe we can, blur okay. It out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pro protect the people. Bleep that we out need too. To. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's telling us these stories like, Joey, you have to come to Africa. When, when we plan our trip, bring your camera. You'll get the most amazing photos you've ever gotten. I'll, I, will, I will put you in the lion's mouth if you want, as close as you want to get to things. I'm like, this sounds fucking awesome. Like, yes, yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> now, again, look at people tell you, people like to just propose things that are like unlikely to happen just to have the cool words come out of their mouth. He was actually serious. Like this guy, we, and we stayed in touch and we did a shoot the next year. He's like, hey, we're going to do the calendar shoot again. You ready for it? You know, and, and I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. And, and every time he'd come into town, like we'd also hang out or get together. So we stayed friends and um, fast forward from that first shoot, like three years later, he's like, he's like, Joey, we're going to Africa. He's like, um, these are the dates. All you need is uh, to pay for your flight. I'm like, Oh, all right, cool. I guess we, he's got like a place for us to stay and food. I don't know, whatever. Like I'm thinking, like I, I guess he's taking care of the. Did you ask the rest of the accommodation? I didn't really ask. <laughs> You're just like yes. Yeah, I know. I'm just like no. This is one of those things. It's just like don't think too much about it. You'll think your way out of it, right? Yeah. Just like I told my dad, he's like, "You're not going to Africa." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I'm like. Well, we're just really, there's not like a debate and yeah, that's it. Like well, I'm going now, you know, so if I don't come back, then you know where. Yeah, I did <laughs> organize a dinner before I left in case it was like my last supper, you know, so I <laughs> made sure. Um, yeah. Uh, so the, so he puts us in a Facebook group that's like leading up to this trip. And now he's sharing information about the local territories that we're going to be passing through. I didn't really... Honestly, thinking back, I didn't ask many questions at all, <laughs> which was like kind of stupid. I, and normally I'm, I'm pretty like, I want to know details. I just trusted him so much that I'm like, it doesn't matter. Just I'm going either way. Right. Yeah. So, um, the reason I only had to pay for the flight is because we didn't have food <laughs> <laughs> or rooms and beds and things. Um, the, the trip was eight days of canoeing down the Zambezi river and we like drank the river water and caught fish for food. And we each had one backpack and it was like, Oh, are we bringing tents? He's like tents are for pussies. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. So we slept like under the stars and saw the world as the cavemen saw it. Nice. And, uh, it was pretty incredible. It was epic. So I I'll give you a little more of the detail of it. Please. Um, the, f the funny parts were like leading up to it. The more information I was getting, I was like, what the fuck did I sign up for? <laughs> right. He's sending us current like, oh, uh, two women killed by hippo in this area. He's like, this is where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly like you tried to sell me the Amazon the other day. <laughs> this is how I do for him when we go on trips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I'm like, um, I, I literally, I think I was like, Hey, you're not really like selling this trip very good right now. It's like guy gets bitten and killed by, um, black mamba snake. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we're going to watch out for those. He's sending this all to us as like, Hey, heads up yeah, to good that you're aware fishermen that killed by crocodile. Like, mm -hmm. so every, every like three days, there was a new story of somebody dying by some other animal out there. <laughs> That, and this is like local news from where we're going, basically, right? Um, two guys got killed mistaken as poachers. They were accidentally, it was like friendly fire. Anyways, two, like an Italian tourist and his son were killed. This is all like happening at the same time. And um, and I think he, with that, he's like, well, that's, 
He's like, that's a horrible thing, but it's good for us because it's unlikely to happen twice. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. Well, yeah, this like guy. lightning. <laughs> it's just, it's, he's right. Yeah, I guess so. He's like, they're going to be a little more careful. Statistically, <laughs> we're safe. Statistically, yeah. They'll be more careful about shooting just into the woods when they hear rustling, you know? So, um, oh, at, at one point he goes, because the Facebook group was like, I didn't know the other guys on the trip. He's like, these are my rugby buddies. And uh, so it was going to be five of us total. So it's like. Okay. With the models. No, no models. No, no models. No. Oh, okay. No, this is just like a dude's trip. Oh, so okay, it's cool. like uh, one guy is a uh, Marine Marine Corps guy, another uh, Special Forces um, Army Ranger, um, the main guy, and another dude who's just like a big outdoorsman, and uh, and then me, the photographer guy. So, uh, <laughs> um, didn't ask a lot of questions and didn't really. The guy that doesn't ask questions, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure everyone was excited, but you. I was excited, but also uh, it, it was like a weird mix of excited, being excited and being nervous, and um, which kind of got worse. Actually, that went away once, like once you got there, once, and then you kind of were like, all right, because people adapt very fast, and that's like the reality. It's like the scariest part was, it's like it's like going to the gym. The shittiest part is putting your shoes on. Mm -hmm. And then like getting up to go. But then when you're there, you're just, you're in it. You're, you know, it becomes your normal. So things normalize pretty quickly. And, and that was a, that trip was a good reminder of that. Um, makes you kind of not as like scared of the uncertainty of the future. Um, so <laughs> he says that at one point, he's like, Joe, you're going to need a, a knife with a seven inch blade on it. <laughs> I'm like, why, why seven inches? So specifically, if you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Because that's how far it is to get to the intestines of a large cat. <laughs> I knew that's where that was going. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because, you know, you get the skin and the fat. And then exactly. the... It's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, me too. So I like... <laughs> I'll get the nine inch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Comes out with a machete. Yeah. Oh, the sword. <laughs> I order my big knife. Um, I'm, I'm like gathering up these supplies. He sent us this great message right before the trip. You want me to read it to you? It's pretty... Yes. It's kind of epic, honestly. <laughs> I'd love that. And and it'll put you in the mindset of like where I was in my head as we're about to, to go on this trip. Okay. Um, make sure I'm reading this right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Should I read it in the Did you like save accent? this for like read in that in Yeah, I well I have a whole album of like my photos and stuff, but I screenshotted his message because it was it was that worthy good. of yeah. Okay. okay. Gentlemen. You are about to embark upon the most epic adventure of your life. If you have not shaken hands with your own mortality for a while, I assure you, you will by day two. You are going to enter into the most incredibly beautiful place you could ever imagine, not unlike the fabled Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. It is one of the last places in Africa untouched and unspoiled by human encroachment. It is, it is as dangerous as it is beautiful, and is something your grandchildren will tell their grandchildren about because it will soon be lost forever. However, there is structure and rules to this wild environment and a clarity that you will not find in any human community. It is built on respect and understanding. Understand that many creatures out there will see you only as food and the decision to attack will be based on hunger, opportunity, and a reasoned approach, whether they might be injured and possibly impede their ability to hunt later on. They won't just attack without reason, but they could if they feel threatened, territorial, or challenged. So the best defense is situational awareness and mutual respect. Walking off 50 yards to take a dump takes on a whole new meaning when you realize that you are separating from the security of the group and that you cross that fine line from menu item to potential entree for any predator looking around. And you will see there are, they are everywhere. This is their neighborhood. So now... Little everyday decisions like relieving yourself or washing your mess kit at the river's edge becomes a life or death roll of the dice. And don't let yourself get tunnel vision or get carried away by the majesty and spectacle of the moment because behind that will be danger and an opportunity for something that senses your distraction. Trust your age old, in your age -old and suppressed instinct. If you get that tingly feeling, speak up. You are most likely right that something is wrong. Don't second guess yourself. Finally, get it in your head that you are not going to die for any reason. You're going to fight until your last breath, despite everything in your sentient, over, overly civilized cognitive head. 
If you have your hand down the throat of a lion, grab its tonsils and rip them out. If a croc is pulling you into deep water, break your finger off in its eyes. Stick your leg down its gullet and choke it with your own body if you have to, but don't give up. <laughs> I promise all of you that I will give my life to try and save yours. It is my solemn pledge and obligation, and I will take the hit or join the fight as soon as I humanly can. So don't give up for anything. Get it in your head now. On the flip side, I don't want to die either. So I will be doing my best to keep us all out of trouble. So trust me, listen to my instruction and we will all emerge on the other side stronger and better with the experience of a lifetime. We have two guides with local knowledge, food, fresh water, and the Milky Way above us, unspoiled by ambient light for hundreds of miles. This will be as the cavemen saw the world. I can't wait to share it with you. He wow. sounds like an incredible human being. He is. If you wow. could say no, but could you send that to me? Yeah. I'm going to put that in, in like a giant picture or something. That yeah. is very cool. Yeah. That's a cool, cool. That's, what that's a, a cool message. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. a good yes to say. Yeah. You get like, oh, fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. Who talks like that nowadays? Nobody. That's like that's when amazing. you hear like old letters from soldiers to their wives and World War II and they're so poetic and now it's like... Yeah. Hey, yo, babe, uh, you know, like it's some dumbed down <laughs> shit <laughs> communication, <laughs> the way we like talk. 